Hey all, I'm your host Cryptic and welcome back to the channel. Today, another long awaited PlayStation Vita video that everyone's been asking for. Um, this one took a little bit of time because as you can see from the title of the video, today we're going to be looking at uh, two applications or several applications that you can still get working on the Vita, although buggy and sometimes potentially tiresome to use depending on what issues you have. I really wanted to go through and check out all the potential issues or hurdles that you may or may not get um, while installing these applications and using them. Um, so uh, today's video, the primary ones we're going to be looking at is YouTube um, and another one is Twitch. Um, there are other applications that I will probably try out in uh, future videos showing you how they work because they will take a bit more uh, finesse which I've been starting to research into and was wondering whether I could put it in this video. Unfortunately not, it would make the video run too long um, and I didn't want to confuse people with too many procedures because each app is slightly different on how to get it installed and working. But these two main ones here being YouTube and Twitch, um, they have a very similar setup um, but they can also have their own bugbears. So without uh, rambling on too much, let's get straight into it. Um, now with YouTube, I'll show some screenshots in the video here um, to the GitHub page and to the other pages um, on where to download the APK or the file for installation on the Vita and install it on the Vita. Remember now that you have a jailbroken Vita, if you've been following my other videos, um, you wanna use Vita Shell now to connect um, everything from the Vita to the uh, PC and then installing all your files or transferring your files from the PC to the Vita. You don't want to use the PlayStation uh, Content Manager anymore. It's the same concept as every other video. You still want to install stuff in a folder that you will find easily on your memory card. And before any more sounds happen, I do apologize if any background sounds do get picked up. Uh, there are planes and other things happening today. and. Uh, if I wait any longer, I might not get a video done. So yeah, so Vita Shell is what you want to use uh, sp specifically for the um, YouTube app. Um, but the Twitch app, there's an easier way to get it straight onto your Vita, thankfully. Um, once you have it downloaded, before installing it, um, I highly recommend going to your auto plugin to um, opening that up. Um, yep, don't worry about the package. That's going to be for Twitch. Um, but yeah, once you do, you want to go to Vita plugins and press X and install plugins, press X again. That first one there, um, RC School 6 version 1.3, you want to install that. As you can see, I've got a green dot next to it. I have already installed it, but uh, yeah, that's the one that you want to um, install. Um, once you do, um, go through the process and it will activate it. It essentially allows sort of homebrew apps of um, aging um, applications like Twitch and YouTube to run perfectly on your PS Vita 1000 or 2000 models. So once you have that installed, um, you can exit. Um, you can go into your um, directory in Vita Shell, find the YouTube app that you have installed or downloaded, select it, it will ask you, do you want to install it? You're going to go, yep. Are you 100% sure? You're going to go yes again, just like any other application we've done in the past. Once that's done, um, you'll have it installed and then launch the PlayStation Vita. Now, if it does crash or there's any more errors, feel free to restart your PlayStation Vita. Um, so power it all the way off and all the way on again, and then redo the app. Now, as you can see, we've got YouTube running. Um, so yeah. It's a bit buggy. Um, the UI isn't 100%, unfortunately, but it will slowly load through. Um, how ridiculous, great YouTube channel. Now, what you will know with one of the bugs on the YouTube app is that it will default playing everything in 360p um, or 360p. You can up it to 720p using the gear icon. Um, you can go full screen. You can do other things. Ads will still play, etc., etc. Um, there's not much you can sort of do about that unless you've logged in you can log into your YouTube account and if you have a premium account fantastic you'll um, not have any ads running uh, but if you don't ads will run like normal um, but with this obviously um, you can't sort of have the playing like an mp3 player or anything like that so you can't have the screen off and just listen it will stop it but there you go we've got YouTube running 
Um, again, hopefully this will not freak out too much, but if you exit out before that, you can get it running at 720. Um, sometimes it will stop, sometimes it'll crash. It's just the way of it. It's a sort of a beta app that sort of they got working um, and then haven't really updated it since version 1.0. But it does work pretty well. If you do spend a lot of time gaming on your Vita um, and you want to find tutorials on it without going to your phone or computer or laptop, um, you can watch YouTube straight on it. And if you have the PS Vita 1000, um, it looks pretty damn good with the visuals. So yeah, that's uh, YouTube running. Now we want to get Twitch running. Again, make sure you have that first plugin installed um, as we did before. But this time you want to go down to the package application. Um, let's launch that. Now package application has a whole bunch of things you can download on there. I'll let you guys work it out for yourselves. Um, what you want to do if you go to menu pressing triangle, um, you want to filter down to um, show games, press X, and then filter again. And then you want to go size with the arrow pointing up, which means a smaller size down to the largest size. If you had it inverted, the arrow pointing down, it's largest to smallest. So have the arrow pointing up. It's going to make things a lot easier. Um, and then we're going to scroll down straight to Twitch. There it is. 9.29 megabytes. Um, X on that. It will say install and patch. Let's go ahead. Done. Installation is okay. Yep, there we go. Downloading complete. Sometimes it can bug out where you initiate a download and it doesn't happen. Uh, but in this case, it works just fine. Installing Twitch. There it is. I'll let the patch finish off real quick. Okay. Installing. And there it is. Twitch also running. Um, now the only issue with Twitch is that it can be slow to stream videos because it is a live streaming service as opposed to YouTube being a bit more on demand. Um, there are VODs on there, but it will work. Um, so you can get Twitch running on here. Um, loading up some streams might be a bit, you know, how's it going? <laughs> but if you've got a decent Wi-Fi connection, but you got to understand um, the Vita in itself actually only connects to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connections, not 5.0. It's the chipset within the Vita. You got to understand it's over 10 years old now. So it's outdated in that respect. Um, but if you're willing to um, put up with a little bit of buffering, you can get Twitch running on your Vita, no issues at all. Um, and let's look up some oop, games. Oh, yeah, circle. So circle is the, the X button and the X is the circle button. So just remember that when you're operating Twitch. Um, Grand Theft Auto. Just for argument's sake, just to get a quick video up and running. Um, this person, they're driving around doing something in the open world. Um, I do have video on mute so we don't get any feedback while I'm recording through the mic. Um, oh, you got commercial break in process, but yeah, Twitch does work. Next to go back. Um, the only issue is that touch doesn't work. Um, unlike YouTube app, Touch does work, which is fantastic, but on Twitch, it doesn't. So yeah, um, make sure you have that plugin. Um, sometimes if you have a poor connection, you'll error out on both. Um, usually anything under five megabits a second on Wi-Fi for download, that's where you start seeing a bit of funny business. So do a test um, in the settings menu for your Wi-Fi connection and see if you're getting above five. If you're getting above five, both these applications will work. Um, if you have any issues like usual, leave them in the comment section below. Um, again, thank you to all the new web subscribers that have come aboard, uh, come on board in the last few weeks. I really appreciate it. Everyone that's been commenting, liking, and giving feedback. I appreciate all of you. You've been able to help me make, uh, these videos incrementally better with every upload. Um, and yeah, 
Um, I'll continue to find apps that um, you can install and run perfectly on your Vita and I'll put them up as um, the timings and my research is complete with the videos and editing and everything. Um, it might not be every week, it might be every other week or once a month, but I'll, I'll get them there. Um, and as always, I'll be uploading whatever I find interesting on the channel and I appreciate everyone watching. If you found this video helpful, I really appreciate a thumbs up, uh, comment below, share with your friends and uh, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I'm hoping to aim to 500 subs by the end of the year, but at this rate it might be more, but I just want to be a bit more realistic with the figures. Um, again, this is more of a hobby for me since I do have a full-time job and everything outside of YouTube, obviously. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone that's been watching and I uh, hope to catch you guys in the next one. See ya.